I can tell you that with all of you who are here, that you are making an impact. I do not believe that delisting would ever have occurred without you being involved. And I want to commend your president-elect for her leadership in bringing together worldwide people who are committed to moving onward to freedom in Iran. So I thank all of you for being here. Now, what you're witnessing today is historic <clears throat> and is a tribute to the respect and the prestige that Mrs. Rajavi and the entire movement is getting. That your cause is just and right. The United States signed a contract with the residents of Camp Ashraf, and that is why the United States should lead the effort to a safe place, but not attempt over a number of years to gradually draw down Camp Liberty, which is very, very dangerous, and I think a betrayal of America's word to the people who trusted in the United States. And you have tremendous military leadership supporting your right to demand that. Beyond the immediate challenge of Camp Liberty, I want to suggest to you that the election of Hassan Rouhani is the perfect trap for the dictatorship. They have sold him as a moderate. Now, he will prove once and for all that it is impossible to be a moderate within the dictatorship. First of all, 680 people applied to run for president. 672 were blocked. Only the eight acceptable to the dictatorship were allowed to run. This is a man, Rouhani, who made his career lying to the Europeans and the Americans and publicly boasted about it. He said his job was to drive a wedge between the United States and Europe. And notice that immediately after the election, as all of the elite media talked about this moderate, the Iranian dictatorship announced it was sending 4,000 troops to Syria. Hardly a moderate act. The fact is, it is impossible to have a dictatorship like this voluntarily move to moderation. In the next few months, they will prove that. They will do nothing which goes up a real opening. They will do nothing that provides liberty. They will do nothing to openly negotiate. The difference between Ahmadinejad and Rouhani is simple. With Ahmadinejad, you had a dictatorship that growled. With Rouhani, you have a dictatorship that smiles, but it is still a dictatorship. Your slogan for this meeting is the correct one. Onward to freedom. The only way to move onward to freedom is to have a genuinely open election in which anyone could run including Mrs. Rajavi. And then let's see who the Iranian people pick when they have a genuinely open election. And until we have a genuinely open election, we need to remind the world again and again, this is a dictatorship, it is dangerous, it is unreliable, and the only correct strategy is to replace it with a new government dedicated to freedom and I believe the ten principles of your platform are as solid and idealistic as any in the world for that movement. So I commend you, I thank you, I urge you, do not give up, do not slow down, do not lose faith. We will see in your lifetime.
of free Iran. Thank you and God bless you.